Hello friends! Today you're going to make some digital art using Chrome Canvas or something similar that has layers. You're going to trace the lines that make up the contours of a picture. So the first thing you need to do is find your picture. So you go to classwork in our art Google Classroom. Then you scroll down a little bit to go to quarter three projects title. And you're going to find the project named Digital Contour Drawing. You're going to click on it one time. Scroll down just a little bit so that you can open up the assignment pressing View Instructions. Okay, so here's the assignment. There are some uh, things here for you to help you, but here are all the pictures that I would like you to choose from. So you choose one. So I'm going to click on the first one, this rose picture, just to make it bigger because that's too small. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to right click. And to right click, you use two fingers at the same time on top of the picture, and then you click Save Image As. That will save it to your computer. So if you don't like the rose picture, then choose another one. But once you click Save Image As, it'll probably ask you, okay, where do you want to save it and where do you want to call it? And then it's done. It's saved. Okay. So let's say you don't like that one. There are others. There's a frog. There is there's a succulent. A butterfly. Or a car. So remember you're looking for the lines of things. So right click it on the image and click Save Image As. Okay. If you know a different way to save the picture, that's fine. But please save a picture of one of the pictures from the assignment. Okay. After you've done that, then you can open Chrome Canvas. And guess what? There's a link to it right here in our assignment. So you can actually just click on that while you're there looking for your picture. Now, if you have used Chrome Canvas, you might see some of your pictures here. But if you haven't, you might see something that looks a little more like this. Um, if you get an error message, just ignore it. You can't sign in. Ignore that. You have to just do it without signing in. But if you um, get to this screen, please click the home button, which is up here in the corner. Okay, because we that's not how we're going to start this project. You need to click new from image over here. Okay, so new from image and then a window's going to pop up and ask you, okay, what picture do you want? And then you find it on your computer. That's why you need to have your picture saved. So as soon as I have my picture, I, let's see, where is it? I think I'm just going to do the butterfly that I have here already. Okay. So there's my butterfly. You want to use the pen tool. And you can change the color of your line so that you can see it. Like for my butterfly, if I used black, I wouldn't be able to see everything very good. So I think red is best. Now if you look closely, I am tracing the edges of the butterfly, the contours. And I am also going to trace the spaces that make up the wing pattern. Okay, so you need to trace all of the lines of your object, okay? So the butterfly might be a little tricky to do, but it'll look really awesome, okay? Do your best, doesn't have to be completely perfect, but you should be using a very thin line, and I don't want to see it colored in, I just want to see the lines, okay? So I'm going to speed up the drawing right now, but I just wanted you to see in real time how I would do this. I'm just, you know, going slow, taking my time, 
and tracing the shapes that I see. Okay. Okay, so I zoomed in just a little bit so you can see the lines. Of course, this is fast forward. This was super fast, so, um, you know, I did a lot of little mistakes and pressing undo, but I got all the lines, all the contour lines of the butterfly and its wings. Okay, now this next step can be a little tricky, but I want you to open up your layers. Okay, so there's that little diamond up in the corner. You're going to click on your layers and you're going to add a new layer, which with the plus sign, right where that red dot is. Okay, and so that's going to open up an empty layer. But right now it's above, it's on top and we don't want it that way. So you're going to move it above so that your empty layer is in between the photo and your contour line. Okay, and so what I'm going to do right now, you don't have to do this, um, I'm going to um, color the background because um, I can't add a color to the background how we normally would do it. So I have to do it this way just so that you can see all of my contour lines and it looks like a butterfly. Okay, remember this is the object of the assignment. I'm not looking for things colored in. I'm looking for the contour lines. If you color it in, cool but I'm looking more for just the contour lines, okay? So what this is gonna do is just help you to see my contour lines, okay? So if I go back to my layers, there's that empty layer in the middle, which I colored with blue, but I can still see my contour lines because my contour line layer is above it. So I'm going to add um, one more layer after this. You can always hide layers to show you what something looks like. Okay. When you're all done, you can save your picture. Um, please don't do a screenshot. It's just not good um, practice um, to take a screenshot. Um, but you can click the three dots and click Save Image As. So right now it's going to save my contour lines without any background because I have that checkerboard, that checkerboard background. So I'm going to get a little bit of color and if you have time, you can add, you can color things in. I just added one more layer just to kind of show you this part, but you don't have to do that. Okay. You just have one layer in between, sandwiched in between your contour line drawing and your photo. That way, when you color something in, like what I'm doing now, you can still see the contour lines. Okay. And if you do mess up, you can use the eraser tool. Like, let's say, for instance, I, oh no, oh no, I didn't want to do that orange. Okay, so I can go to Eraser and draw where I want it to erase, and it's not going to erase the contour lines because I'm working on that middle layer, which is under the contour lines, okay? So that's how you create a contour drawing, okay? Remember, coloring it in is optional, only if you really want to, okay? I want to see your lines. That's the main idea, okay? So here's the finished piece with a clear background, and it turns out to be black, but um, there's my contour line of a butterfly. So this is what I'm kind of looking for. It can be any color, black, white, whatever, but um, I want to see the lines. So if you do finish early, Try another one. Maybe find your own picture and try to do the contours. Have fun and turn in your work. Bye.